Good evening, Jay. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Leaders in Action, Season 3, Episode 2. This evening kicks off our episodes featuring the different industry associations who partner and support the agency leaders and financial advisors in their journey towards growth and success this 2022. Tonight, we will have the pleasure of speaking with the officers of Gamma, who will share with us the association's 2021 highlights, the outlook they have for 2022, and the programs they've lined up for their members. Good evening, Mr. Ivy, and to all our dear viewers. Welcome back to your Thursday 8 p.m. habit. Tonight promises to be another interesting and insightful exchange as we have with us three very accomplished women leaders who will fill our evenings with ideas that are surely worth keeping as we start the new year. But before we move to this evening's discussion, gusto naming pasalamatan uli ang ating very special guest last week, si Ms. Ida Amigo of DDI Philippines, for generously sharing with us her thoughts and some data about how agency leaders uh, or what agency leaders should be focusing so that they will be able to ensure a strong start this 2022 and be able to sustain whatever they have started. Yes, last week's discussion brought to the fore the many challenges and changes leaders face as they endeavor to bring their teams to new heights of success. On the other hand, we also saw the leaders' capacity to harness their own strength, as well as the collective might of their teams to achieve their goals. Sabi nga ng data, COVID has forced people to examine what is important to them. And as a result, many have moved out of their work in search of a better and more meaningful career. We have seen how the life insurance industry has provided meaning to one's calling. So when agency leaders are able to articulate very well how the career can challenge one's potential and at the same time give more meaning to the work that they do, then the industry will be able to attract more talent. Tama ka dyan, Mr. Ib. Ida also shared with us the critical skills that leaders of today should possess and develop if they want to be to stay relevant, be more effective, and be better prepared for the future. Ang dami talagang bits of information and wisdom na mapupulot sa ating episode last week. So for those of you who want to watch again our interview with Ida, you can catch it on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. And for those of you who are interested uh, to have access uh, on the materials of Ida, you can shoot her an email at Ida, that's capital I, that amigo, capital A, at ddiworld.com. I'm sure you will find those materials very useful for your agency operations. But for our episode tonight, we will focus uh, specifically on the opportunities and challenges agency leaders most likely will wrestle as they make the effort to make 2022 a milestone year. And to help us better understand what these green spots are, as well as those possible risk areas, we are very fortunate, Mr. IB, to have not only one, but three officers of Gamma Philippines. They do not only run, manage, and lead their respective successful agency teams, but these three ladies, together with their fellow Gamma officers, work very hard to help 
uh, develop and provide a platform for success and for growth for their membership. So ladies and gentlemen, I am very excited to already introduce to you our very special guest tonight, the powerful and dynamic leaders at the helm of Gamma Philippines. First, we have Board Secretary Natalia Ong. Wow, ang ganda naman ng picture, no? Mr. Ivy, talaga very uh, customized, no? Si Tali yata ay nasa loob ng cockpit ng ano yata to, ng Gamma Air. So, Tali, no, is the secretary, uh, the board secretary. Next, officer that we'd like to call in is first vice president, Pauline Uchi. Yeah, no? So, uh, another co-pilot sa Gamma Air. So, co-pilot si Tali at si Pauline. And of course, no, the pilot, the newly elected president, 2022 Gamma Philippines president, Miss Magdalita Magda Chua. So si Captain Magda ang uh, nagpapalipad ng Gamma Air. So I think they also have prepared a special video to introduce the Gamma Association. Good morning and welcome to Gamma Air 2022. We are now ready for takeoff into your life's best journey. To be able to enjoy this flight, please make sure that gratefulness, love, peace, and courage are securely locked in the upright position. All negativity such as pity, anger, anxiety, selfishness, and pride are not allowed. Leave behind discouragement, resentment, and hurt since in this flight, we practice no baggage allowed policy. Should there be any emergency, Emergency, please immediately reach up and pull down a prayer. Prayer is automatically activated by faith. Once faith is activated, you may assist other passengers who may be grasping for faith. Turbulence may be experienced once in a while, so please fasten your seatbelts and let not worry come into play. Relax and keep your hopes up because Gamma Air will never let you down. This flight is dedicated to leaders who have relentlessly committed towards agency and management building. With God, our captain leading the way, together with Gamma Air's pilot, Ms. Magdalita Chua, and the Gamma 2022 board as her co-pilots, our flight is now set to our destination, greatness. Gamma Air 2022 is now ready for takeoff. Very nice. Good morning, passengers. This is your Captain Magdalita Chua speaking. First, I'd like to welcome everyone on board Gamma Air Flight 2022. We are currently cruising at an altitude of 33,000 feet and a membership of 2,074 and 11 board members. The time is just right to set new goals and with an airspeed of 400 miles per hour, achieve it. The weather looks good and with God on our side, we are expecting to hit our goals for 2022 approximately 15 minutes ahead of schedule. The weather in Manila is clear and sunny with a high of 25 degrees before this afternoon. If all the industry leaders cooperate, we should get a 100% increase in membership as we end Q2 of 2022. My co-pilots, also known as the Gamma Air Board of Trustee 2022, will be coming around in your respective companies to show you the new exciting benefit you'll get as a Gamma member. And the in-flight audiovisual presentation will begin shortly after that. I'll talk to you again before we reach our destination through our Gamma Air Kapihan. Until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the flight. Wow! Ang galing naman! Congratulations uh, to the officers of Gamma for that very uh, wonderful uh, video. Mr. Ivy, mukhang tayo yata ang first ano, stopover <laughs> ng Gamma for 2022. Tama ba yan? So can we already have in first oh, it, live our uh, pilot and co-pilots? Uh, you can now, yon, si pilot Captain Magda, co-pilot Tali, and co-pilot Pauline. Welcome ladies to... Uh, Leaders in action, uh, good evening and thank you again for accepting our invitation. Sabi ko kay Mr. Ivy, kami yata ang first stopover ng Gamma Air. 
Tama ba yun? <laughs> yes. Good evening again to the three Good evening. ladies. Ha? Maraya Good evening. Sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Please call me no? Jay. I hope Jay. you are well, ha? Huh? But before before we we start, no, uh, Jay and I would like to, of course, uh, congratulate and commend you uh, for being officers of Gamma Philippines, no. Uh, your projects to promote the development of managers and leaders surely contribute to the growth of the industry and in providing financial protection to a lot more people. Uh, again, maraming salamat. So before we Before we can uh, listen to the exciting destination of Gamma Air, siguro request lang namin kayo tatlo. Very briefly, no? say something about yourself, which company you represent. How long have you been uh, in the industry? Siguro si uh, uh, Tali can start, then Pauline, and then uh, President Magda. Okay. Hi. Good evening, everyone. I'm Natalia Taliong. I've been in the industry for 16 years, I have been a consistent Gamma Awardee and a five-year MBRT qualifier. I was privileged to have achieved Unit of the Year in my company, Manual Life, in 2014, 2015, and 2021. Thank God. Wow. And I also served as a LUAP past president 2012, and I'm currently the Gamma Board Secretary. Well, uh, very, very ano, wonderful ang iyong ano, progress ng iyong career. Ha? Congratulations sa Tali. Thank you, sir. Pauline. Hi, good evening, everyone. First of all, thank you, Leaders in Action, for the invite. No, It's an opportunity for us to be able to share. So, I'd like to introduce myself. I am Pauline Uchi from ProLife UK. I am a branch manager and a general agency owner. I've been in the industry for 19 years. And um, 11 years MBRT and a consistent Gamma Awardee since 2014. And right now, I am holding the position as a first VP. So the role of a first VP is to help and support the president and, of course, with the board. And... This year, I am assigned, no? I am tasked to handle the convention again. So that's it for my introduction. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you, Pauline. Thank you, Pauline. Yeah, it's my turn. Yes, yeah. President Magda. I love uh, it. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. This is Captain Magdalita Chua. <laughs> ready, to, ready, to, ready to take <laughs> off, okay? So thank you very much. First, uh, we would like to say thank you on behalf of the board, no? Gamma and Gamma Philippines. No? We would like to say thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, we really need this uh, uh, opportunity because we need, we need to bang out uh, the membership of, Sun, uh, of Gamma. No? So I've been with uh, Sun Life for 25 years, 10 years of branch manager. And uh, 10 years with Gamma. Baka parang lahat ng position na ikutan ko na siguro <laughs> ng Gama. So now I'm the 2022 president. I'm very proud to be with my team. And I have faith with my board uh, board trust, board, uh, board member, uh, board in tr uh, trustee. They are the one who's going to work. Uh, I have a good team. And, and we are ready to take off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nakakatuwa naman itong tatlo na ito. 16, 19, 25. Equal 60 years. You know, 60 years. Uh, average of 20 years. There's got to be something wonderful in the industry for people like you who are well, uh, who are very successful to stay that long. Now, again, thank you for being with us. I know that your role and volunteer work in Gamma is really on top of your other responsibilities to your team. So, dapat talaga, you are fully appreciated by your members. Uh, last year, we had the uh, Uh, opportunity to also have your past president, see Ms. Susan Lee, as our guest during season one, where she shared some of Gamma's plans and programs for last year. Siguro my question to uh, Captain and President Magda uh, yes. before we discuss 2022, uh, can you please uh, share with us the highlights of Gamma in 2021? Uh, what were your key programs and major achievements last year? Okay, so last actually uh, highlight of 2021. There are much of so many highlights, no. 
amazing no with the with the leadership of IPP Susan Lee and also the support of a uh, past president Teresita Ragos and of course no, the the board members of uh, 2021 that makes everything possible no so 2021 uh, number one the highlight is the uh, we, uh, we 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 really uh, enter to many challenges no but still uh, it's rewarding with the board uh, everything they are very resilient and also very innovative. And we were able to overcome no, everything in, in, in 2021. So 2021, we have malleable excellence, the new world, the convention is very, it's excellent, it's, it's amazing. It's a, a pride of the uh, Gamma, Gamma uh, Philippines, no? Gamma Philippines is the pride of us. No? Uh, it's also the pride of the uh, insurance company. No? And also, we also have the, the chance of uh, having the approval, no? approval of the ELM, ELM new version from the Gamma International. At the same time, from American College, uh, the, 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 to adapt the, the Philippine leaders' practices, no? actual practices, no? we, integrate, to in, we integrate the practice of Philippine leadership no? to yeah. how they grow their agency. No? So, and also this, uh, with these uh, changes uh, of adopting the Philippine leaders practitioner, I think uh, it's more easier for us as, as leader in the Philippines to grow no? our mm -hmm. agencies. No? Mm -hmm. And also we have, we have uh, innovative changes like a uh, digital, no? in, uh, we have convention, uh, we have uh, also, we have hired, uh, we hired also uh, social media managers. No? So mm -hmm. we really, catching up the, the we're really adapting the, the trend of the, the insurance leaders, you know? So with those uh, things, so, and another one, amazing one is that uh, we are the number one uh, across the international global chapter, you no? Know? We are number one in membership, you no? Know? So I think, again, with the cooperation of all the leaders of the, the insurance company, I'm sure, I'm sure we're gonna hit the double numbers, you no? Know? The double, which is 4,000. 4,000 okay. membership from 2074. So we are ready to, to, to we, are, uh, we are really ready to take off with my board and with the, all the Philippine insurance members, the uh, leadership of the, uh, in the Philippines. We are ready to take off. Together, we will take off. Walang iwanan, lahat lilipad, okay? Uh, so this is, uh, I can share. I'm, I'm very thankful of uh, last year, no? Even though it's challenging, walang, walang mahirap basta leaders ng insurance industries. Thank you very much. Yeah, hey, congratulations again. Uh, congratulations to your leadership core of 2021 and of course makasama kayo doon. Uh, yeah. Very, very busy yung inyong 2021. Talaga hindi kayo nagpatalo sa mga pagsubok and challenges that you face, no? Yes. No time sa mga activities ninyo, walang time, walang opportunity na sinayang ninyo. And as you've mentioned, your programs were very powerful. Ang talagang hope namin is that yung, yung members nyo will really take full advantage of, uh, of the programs that you uh, have for them, no? Uh, Jay? Yeah. Congratulations again, President Magda, no, for all the initiatives that you did in 2021. Hope na muna ako kay Pauline. Pauline, um, yes, in, your, yeah, in your observation, no, uh, and maybe as an experience also as an agency leader, what do you think change in the concerns and challenges of our agency leaders in 2021 as compared to 2020? Uh, mas marami bang naging challenges? Mas kumonti ba? Or pareho lang? Okay. Um, Miss J, sa totoo lang, in 2020, lahat nagulat about the pandemic, di ba? We were all in shock. Yes. Diba na parang ako nga eh, I remember during my first sharing, dun sa yung gama natin na kapihan, what we did, lahat ng board nag-share. Mm -hmm. no? So, sobrang nakakagulat no, yung 2020. And we were never ready for the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And sa akin nga lang, no, yung, yung Zoom, narinig ko siya sa husband ko kasi IT, pero never ko naman siya nagamit sa sarili ko. No? But, uh, Agad-agad, no, nag-subscribe nag ako. And then eventually, our company provided a Zoom account for all the branch managers. So, mas malaki, mas powerful, kaya ng 500, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Et I think yun yung 2020. And then yung change na sinasabi natin ng 2021, we were all adapted already to 
you know, using Zoom, digital ek-ek, no? Lahat ng pagkateki, inaral natin, no? I think that's one improvement in 2021. Na parang lahat marunong na, no? Kahit 50, 60 years old, marunong nang mag-Zoom, marunong nang magpindot-pindot. Di ba? However, yung challenge hindi talaga laging nawawala. Di ba? Yes. There are a lot of challenges that anyone can, you know, use as an excuse or probably hindi naman excuse pero totoo, but eventually nagiging excuse. Di ba? Yes. So, as a leader, paano ba natin i-address yun, di ba? Ang dami nating role as a leader. We have to be, you know, an inspiring leader. We have to be an encouraging leader, di ba? Tayo na ang wise counsel, tayo na ang guidance counsel, or tayo na ang etc., etc., I think isa yun sa nag-change sa atin as as agency leaders, no? Naging mas mature tayo to be able to understand the, the feelings, the emotions of our teammates, no? So, yung yung ibang changes natural na eh. Like kailangan maging digital native ka na. Kailangan mag-adapt ka na to the challenging times of doing games, 'di ba? Kung noon ang game mo ay ibang-iba ngayon, iba din, no? Lahat ng games mo before na face-to-face, ginawa mong non-face-to-face. I mean, yung creativity natin, lumabas talaga. I think that's one change na nagawa natin as agency leaders from 2020 versus 2021. Yes. So, ayun lang, Miss J. Yes, no, talaga, yeah, no, nakita natin na talagang nag ano evolve din no yung yes. mga changes at challenges natin. Now, of all the initiatives that Gama has introduced for your members in 2021 or maybe you know backtrack tayo ng konti in 2020, uh, which of these do you think help your members the most in coping up with these challenges and in somehow preparing them to the normal, no? to the new normal of agency leadership. Ang dami yung kasing programa eh, no? ng mga ginawa ng 2021 and 2020. Anin dito yung mas nakatulong talaga sa inyong members? Uh, Sino bang sasagot nun, Miss J? Ako ba? Ikaw, ikaw pa ulit. <laughs> oh, ikaw pa ulit. Pa rin. Ikaw pa rin. Ikaw pa rin. <laughs> okay. Okay. The, I I mentioned nga we have a lot of programs no na ginawa sa sa Gama no yung ang board nag-start siyang siya yung uh, mag-top no mag-share ng best practice during pandemic. Then no 2021 we, we were back to our normal na kapihan no the quarterly. Meron din kaming kung ano-ano pa but I think no para sa akin yung most impactful talaga is the the, you know, the Gama convention. Most awaited yan. Kasi bakit? Bakit siya most awaited? Not because I'm the convention chair this year and I was the convention chair last year, no? But, you know, uh, having analyzed the quality of the the leaders, no? Especially the the best practice sharing of the maas. Napakaganda nung session na yun. Actually, yun yung ambiruan namin whenever we attend convention pack up na tayo, nakabawi na tayo sa bayad natin. ba? But ito, wala namang bayad, libre. So yeah. walang magpa-pack up. Even if we learn so much from the maas sharing, no? Kasi sa totoo lang, when you listen to them, really, listen, not just hear, iba talaga yung feeling mo. And mm-hmm. after all, who wouldn't want to be a maa? ba? Lahat tayo gusto natin yan, being the highest among all the awards, no? And at the same time, it is in this Gama Convention that we're able to gather all the legends in the industry. ba? Ito yung likes nila, Harry. Who peace na parang, hello, how in the world shall I get in touch with these people? Diba? Napakagaling nun. Even Chris Noonan, uh, watching him live, sobra akong hanga, hangang-hanga ako. And then, nung pinadala yung kanyang topic, no? of course, kami yung nagsabi ng topic niya, anong gusto naming sabihin niya. But of course, the content itself, siya yun. Nung pinapadala nila, parang shocks, windang ka na. Ito na naman. Pwede na ulit ako mag-pack up. ba? So, sino pa? Si Kelly Kidwell. No? So, ito yung mga uh, names in the industry. They are legends in in the US and in other parts of, ba? Si, si Harry Hoopis kasi, internationally, talagang kilala siya yung kanyang HPN. No? So, I think, 
ito yung talagang pinaka may impact ang dating. Bakit? Holistic kasi yung approach. You're not only talking about, you know, leadership na basta i-manage mo lang yung tao mo, mag-delegate ka lang. It's not like that. It's a leadership with a heart. It's a leadership that aims to inspire, to motivate, and to change people's lives. No? So, sa akin, sobrang impactful yung ganong klase ng convention. Yes. That's it. Okay, thank you very much, no, Pauline. Uh, Mr. Ivy and I had the chance to virtually attend your ano to, convention uh, last year no, through the invitation of... Uh, Palpak Ms. lang talaga, Miss J, ang login. <laughs> <laughs> Palpak lang talaga ang login. But you, when you browse through the content... Oo, maganda. Well, Oo, o, naka, ano naman kami, medyo naging successful naman kami makapag-login. Nakapag-login <laughs> naman. Nakapag-login naman. Admittedly, kami. that's... that's That's really the ano, yung talaga yung loophole no, the, the log in. But the content if you're going to yeah. to, to browse it, to go about it, sobrang gaganda ng mga sinabi ng speakers. As in maubusan ka ng kasusulat. That's true. <laughs> and and I think that's really the kind of support that our agency leaders uh, force no really need especially during this very challenging time no and uh for gamma to really come up with that kind of convention and the uh, rosters of speakers no talagang kudos po sa inyong uh, sa inyong lahat no ng mga organizers and let me add pala miss j hmm. i remember attending this lamp convention in the us no one of the keynote speakers mentioned about attending a convention is just like a therapy for mm-hmm. us leaders. Mm-hmm. Sinabi niya yung tandang-tanda ko yun. Kaya ever since I attended LAMP in 2016, I never failed to attend yearly. Uh-huh. Naputo lang talaga siya nung 2020 that we had to refund our ticket, our, our flight. No? Mm-hmm. Kasi nga, wala talaga, wala nang biyahe. Mm-hmm. Pero sinabi niya yun, attending a convention is just like having a therapy. You are yes. recharging yourself. Nag, yes. nag, nag-experience ka dyan ng total regeneration no so ibang iba talaga yung dating di ba pag lumabas ka it's like you're a new person oh, recharge like na you're re- a new leader recharge na recharge ka so attending a convention is really a must kaya pinaghandaan talaga namin yan this year pinaghandaan na namin no uh, hindi pa siya buong buo pero naka-concept na etc cetera, etc cetera. talaga ang you are in for a trip Yeah. A little later, we will be asking you about your 2022 uh, program. So, siguro, may, 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 pwede niyong i-mention kahit konti teaser no, para talaga ma-excite yung mga nakikinig sa atin about what you intend no, sa 2022 convention, GAMA convention. Uh, Mr. Ivy? Yeah. Um, the industry has to be congratulated kasi... Uh, La, first half of last year, it grew by 37%. Kahit wala pa tayong uh, final figures, I think the industry will still end by double-digit growth. No, So showing the resilience, sabi nyo nga kanina, of the industry. Uh, this one is for Tali. Tali, how does Gama, I'm sure you're done with your meetings and planning, see 2022? What are the prospects of the industry as you see it this, this year? And uh, do you see in your gamma crystal ball that the industry will again grow by double digit? Okay, thank you, Sir Ivy. Actually, we are very positive, no? We are very excited for 2022 na mag-grow pa siya more than what we did sa 2021. Because the past two years, this pandemic has opened the eyes of our countrymen no? on the importance of life insurance and the health coverage. So we expect talaga for it to be continued. So sa totoo lang talaga, ang daming mas naging open. Pag mm. in-approach sila ng mga agents, mas naging open sila because of the need for the life insurance. At the same time, we have growth also in terms of our financial advisors because right. alam natin na some of them lost their job. Yeah. Others na yung mga businesses nila were affected. And mm. somehow, no, they were they found their way into our industry and they find it more meaningful and rewarding. Mm. So hopefully because of this, uh, we see an opportunity dito sa crisis na to. So we are really very excited and looking forward for a bigger growth this 2022. 
Well, again, it's very nice to hear no, that uh, you uh, as a group really see the industry again growing. And you're rightfully correct. Talaga namang uh, Filipinos, based on a number of surveys, felt the need no, of uh, medical, health, and life insurance uh, because of the pandemic. Uh, this question naman is for uh, President and Captain uh, Magda. No? Uh, do you see any headwinds or any concerns that might possibly dampen the outlook uh, of the industry? Uh, actually, in all in all sectors of businesses, there should there's always ups and down. And then when it goes up, it goes down. We just have to understand it. No? Mm. Of course, no, there will always definite concerns that will come along our way, but it's in our mindset. If we we said it gonna we gonna be done, we gonna overcome these things. Imagine the 2020, 2021, the two very uncertain time. We are over to able to overcome it. So mm. with my team again, with my team, and we decided that we were able to rise above any situation for this 2020. And we are more very confident, very confident because together with all the leaders, positive, no, we will be able to overcome everything, no, as in everything. Nothing can stop us. That's it. And again, we are ready to take off. Well, again, uh, I can see the, the passion and the commitment and the confidence, which uh, are all very important ingredients no, sa isang leader. At lalo na kayo, you are leading leaders eh, ha? in the, in the oh. GAMA, in GAMA Philippines. So uh, I'm sure that your membership uh, is very pleased to see the kind of uh, confidence and commitment and optimism that you are uh, currently projecting. Of course, hindi pa tayo sigurado itong uh, virus na ito. Sabi nga ni Captain Magda, up and down, up and down. Uh, minsan nawawala, tapos si Miss Siret. No? But as our industry has demonstrated the last couple of years, uh, kayang i-exceed ang mga challenges. No? So again, in summary, you see a very bright future for 2022. Yes. You have so much confidence in your capacity uh, as a team and uh, the industry as a whole. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Jay. Okay, uh, Uline, balik ulit ako sa'yo. <laughs> Sige, Miss Jay. Okay. Yes, no. ma'am. Uh, Uline, given the many and rapid changes happening in the industry and also in the market, plus i-add na natin yung prospects, no, the bright prospects that uh, both uh, President Magda no, and Tali see for 2022, what do you think should agency leaders be focusing in order, number one, to continue effectively managing their team? And second, to meet or not, to exceed rather, to exceed the changing demands of the insuring public? Okay. Um, I think isa sa mga dapat i-focus no, ng isang agency leader in managing and leading their team. Uh, usually kasi, di ba, what we do is we gather our teams, no, your advisors, your junior leaders, in, in a meeting, in a Zoom meeting, di ba, na parang, kasi madami eh, para isang meeting lang, no. Um, I think one focus of concern is doing the one-on-one. -on -one with your agency leaders, and with your select advisors, okay? So, yung pamimili, kanya-kanya na tayo doon. Sino ba priority mo? Yung malakas, mahina, yung gitna, whatever. Kanya-kanyang call. No? But what I'm saying is that, since sanay na tayo ng ginugrupo natin sila, pinagsasama-sama na natin sila, whether it be for training, for announcements, for awarding and recognition, etc., etc., I think it is also good. It is also a separate you know, duty or responsibility, pero I don't want to call it that way, na role, duty, or responsibility. It's an act of love. It's an act of service that we talk to them. Just, you know, hi, hello, kumusta sila, anong nararamdaman nila, etc., etc. Because in a setup like sobrang dami, hindi mo naman ma-isolate yung isa lang yung medyo in-depth yung pag-uusap ninyo. Mm -hmm. So I think walang kupas yun, Miss J. Uh -huh. Yung, kasi... Sa akin, Pulino, no, is I, uh -oh. Pulino is that important? It's very important because you get to connect with them. Diba? Even if 
hindi kayo nagkikita physically, no? Walang walang face to face na 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 pag-uusap. However, you get to connect to the heart of the person. Once na nakita talaga yung concern mo because you are setting aside, you know, this very important time na siya lang yung kausap mo. And you're not talking about production. Yes. You're not talking about recruitment. You're not talking about ilan ang mai-issue mong kaso. You're mm-hmm. not talking about sino ang prospect mong high net worth. Mm-hmm. Diba? You're talking about the very core, the life of the person. How is he emotionally? Kumusta ba siya when it comes to family relationships? Kumusta ba siya when it comes to, you know, uh, matters of health? Mm-hmm. There are so many things to talk about. And to me, that's very, very important as a leader. And yung changing needs, papano ka ba? Ang nakita ko kasi ngayon, yung uh, centennials, no? Sa amin kasi, parang bagong mukha lahat yung mga nagpo-produce, eh, yung mga producers, no? And one thing that I've seen, yung mga 21, 22, 23, 24, ibang-iba yung approach sa kanila. The okay. Gen Z. The Gen Z. Yes, the yeah. Generation Z. Ibang-iba yung approach. And sabi nila, mahirap daw i-handle. Sa akin, wala naman ako na-experience na ganyan. Matigas daw ang ulo. Wala din ako na-experience na ganyan. Maybe because I've set the expectations. ba? Diba? So, ang ginagawa ko sa kanila, before, noong face-to-face, pre-pandemic, no, meron akong graphics artist na part-time. Kung anong gusto ko pagawa, pinapagawa ko lang. By project. But now, hindi. Meron na talaga akong full-time na nandyan na lahat ng poster ko, very creative, sobrang ganda, papansinin, babasahin, hindi pwedeng i-ignore. So I think that's one. And secondly, you have to think of creative ways kung paano. So syempre, dahil iba yung generation ko, sa Gen yeah. X ako eh, sa generation nila, ang ginawa ko, sila yung pinagmamanage ko. So how to do this, how to do that, alam nila lahat yon. And imagine, no? Yesterday, it was our first branch awarding. No, Last night, panggabi kami. Nagulat ako. When the speaker talked about crypto, may cold, my hat, may mga ganyan pala, alam na alam no mga 19, 20, 21 years old. See? It's, it's really, you know, the industry has changed a lot. And people would want to know more about a lot of things. Di ba na parang masyadong never-ending talaga yung gusto nating matutunan. So, I think, yun pa rin, no? we have to upgrade ourselves as a leader and we have to keep in touch. We get to connect to the heart mm-hmm. of our advisors and our leaders. So, yeah. yun lang, Miss J. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, relate na relate tayo doon because sabi mo nga, especially in this uh, times no, na talagang halos everything is being done virtual no? so, uh, do, through digital Ha, yung high touch is very important no kasi sabi nila high tech high touch versus high tech no so pwede nating uh, kailangan nating pagsamahan pa rin yon no pagsamahin pa rin yon i-combine pa rin natin yon nowadays no and yung second na sinabi mo na is very important leaders should really always be ano uh, at the ano, ahead of the curve no kasi nasabi nga nila yes, kailangan ahead of the curve leaders. oo di ba ikaw palagi na uuna di ba uh, lahat eh, kahit na hindi mo kaya pang gawin susubukan mo okay aaralin mo aaralin mo lahat, lahat yata tayo jet galing sa gen x gen kung ano man generation niyan, napilitan tayo maging Gen Z lahat nitong nitong panahon na ito no and i think that is really a trade no trademark of a leader no talagang dapat eh mabilis kang mag ano mag-adapt at mag-adjust not only for yourself but for your people as well um last na lang how about naman for the advisor so siguro kay tali naman ako tali ano naman ang nakikita mo what sh- should advisors focus to maximize yung prospects no yung prospects na sinabi mo kanina of 2022 uh, okay kasi like right now no we are really supposed to adapt to technology and social media so before kasi we do face to face uh presentations no so ngayon talaga we ako personally i advise my agents to be active in social media yeah so that they will be able to meet new friends and get new leads. 
And uh, right now, since non-face-to-face, uh, kailangan matuto si sa... Uh, electro- Ang tawag kasi sa amin is electronic point of sale, no? So, kailangan hmm. marunong silang gumamit ng mga gadgets. gadgets. So, kahit... Yeah. Uh, so, kahit ng yung mga senior advisors namin, talang sinatsaga namin silang turuan. And surprisingly, marami na rin nakaka-adapt, no? So, you just really have to adapt to the changes in before kung asking for referrals, di ba? Meron tayong tinatawag na uh, bibigyan natin ng isang paper, sasabihin natin, sulatin nyo, <laughs> uh, sino yung mga i-refer nyo sa akin, di ba? So, ngayon, ibang way na. Yeah. So, ngayon, isinasabi sa nila is mag-scout kayo sa mga FB pages, sino ba yung mga like ng like sa post ng mga friends nyo, mm-hmm. so most likely close na close sila. So, you can ask for referrals, no? So, talagang nag-iba na rin on how we do our business. So, yun ang tinasabi ko talaga sa mga advisors that always be on the lookout for new opportunities in everywhere they do their business. At the same time, to continue on uh, doing self-learning. Kasi uh, on top of the mga programs that are provided by our companies, we do encourage them also to expand their horizons. Kagaya nga ng sabi ni Pao, yung mga younger agents niya marunong na mag-crypto, di ba? Cryptocurrency. Eh sa atin naman, hindi naman pa natin yan masyadong inaaral sa insurance person natin. No? So talagang they really have to be open to new learnings. Okay. So thank you very much, no, Tali. So uh, what I got from you, talagang continuous learning, continuous education is really the way to survive under this uh, uh, new normal. no. And second, do not underestimate the social media no? the power of social media no kasi talagang uh, everybody is into that no uh, kami ni Mr. IB who would have thought bigla kami magiging social media personalities through these leaders in action no so uh, but that is ano a sign of ano eh, sign of times diba no so uh, uh, kailangan tayong mag-evolve at uh, mag-adapt din no at uh, sabi mo nga The discipline, the sales process is the same. Di ba? Wala naman pinagkaiba yan. Nagpo-prospect ka pa rin. sales presentation ka pa rin. But the manner, the methodology no, has really changed. And the only way really to thrive and not only to survive is to adapt and adjust. No, So thanks again, Tali. Miss J, yes. to add to what Tali said, you know, I totally agree with the EPOS. No? Uh, I think, lahat ng insurance companies may counterpart niya, no? Sa amin naman, we call it true one. Uh, to add to what Tali said, napakaganda nung sinabi niya, no? Uh, when we don't go digital, we're out of the business. Yeah. Yes. Yun lang. Yes. That's true. No? Alam well, nyo, nung, 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 nung season one, no? Uh, nung nag-uumpisa pa lang kami rito, Uh, medyo meron kami mga na-interview na talaga medyo nag-struggle pa sila kasi yung companies nila ay hindi pa nakaka-migrate to uh, digital selling. No? Kasi talaga naging napakahirap yung uh, paper application kasi nga wala tayong face-to-face. Eh, no? So uh, tama ka, uh, Pao, no? uh, the moment you stop learning digital, that will be the end of the game for you. Uh, yes. President Magda, you want to add something? Yeah, kailangan we have to adapt, we have to change, no? I'm also a senior, but I have to change. No choice, no? We have to change. Yes. We, want this, we, want, we want this mission or commission, whatever. We have to change. That's true. Captain, President Magna, meron ka bang digital business card? <laughs> ah, wala. <laughs> Tuturuan kita. Uh, gawan mo, uh, mo pa. kita. President Magna. That's what we do. That's what the... That's what we do, the introduction. Yeah, so no? might... Every time I get a referral, no, nire-refer ako ng, ng present, di ba, ng, ng client ko, nire-refer ako, pinapadalan ko siya ng digital business card. Oh. And so, ipapadala niya yon sa ini-introduce niya sa akin. So, mm. di ba, yun. So, yeah. yeah, that's one tip. Because no, Tali mentioned about everything. Oh. Or I have one immediately. Okay. Oh, meron tayong natutunan ngayon kay Pao, digital ano, business card, no? So uh, siguro eh padada- gagawan niya kayo sa mga gama officers. <laughs> Magagawa ko kayo sa akin. Magagawa. <laughs> Marami tayong natututunan sa mga panahon na ito. 
Yes. <laughs> well, uh, this is one is for uh, Captain uh, Magda. Given yeah. what you see in uh, Gamma as to mm. as to the prospects of in the industry and mm. the areas where the leaders should be focusing on, ano naman ang inyong priorities and key programs in Gamma for 2022? Yeah, so there, there are lots of pro uh, program actually, no, line up, no. Uh, as we can see, no, before we have the ELM course one and two, no, but now we're gonna integrate it to, into one, no. So it's, we call it ELM new version. That's is, is, uh, essential leadership management, no. Mm -hmm. Wherein this program will be transformed to be tailored to fit every Filipino insurance leaders. So ngayon, makikita na natin ni actual na practices ng Filipino Filipino right. leaders na. So yeah. it's much easier for us to yeah. adapt Very and good. to build, it, no? Yeah. So, kasi we, 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 when we listen to international, of course, we learn also. But uh, our own, our very own uh, style, uh, yeah. very own culture, that's really that's really something, no? So I think with uh, with uh, with this program, I think uh, there's a lot of uh, changes of increase or growth of the agencies, no? With this thing, no? So mm -hmm. we will also continue our AAL. AAL is the applied, applied, approved, approved, applied, applied, approved uh, leadership. No, sorry. Mm -hmm. So this uh, this program is uh, we're gonna continue to so that we can acquire the designation of GLMP, the Global Leadership Management Professions. No, so we have to do this to acquire the leader, the the the, the GLMP. GLMP is uh, American College. No tie up. No. As I've said, no, if you want to get a course of, uh, from American College, so it's really very expensive, no? And mm -hmm. I think $1,700 is not expensive. Uh, no. Kung sa sabi mo, $1,700, so cheap, no? Uh, you, you Google it, the, the courses there is $4,000, $5,000. So, ito sobrang cheap na. So, we negotiated it already, no? So, we have, uh, we will introduce that in, 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 the, in this coming year, no? this year, no? And then, of course, no, we want to uh, make our... Uh, insurance company uh, coordinators more easier life we would be having we call it champions so champions like uh, uh, in, in in the branches no that will be our to foster us to to have more greater uh, closer relationship with the members no update mm -hmm. them and even uh, try to uh, to 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 let them be uh, notified of any event no that we have in gamma so we i think we need that another arm no so so we trying to have some some representative from from the branches of uh, each and every companies no and another one is uh, hopefully we will come up with a gamma foundation this will be our charitable arm no so i think it's about time it's about time we have a uh, tie up with international we have uh, ways of getting funds no and I think uh, even the members are would be very happy would be happy to to be doing these things no CSR no uh, so I think this is a very good move no because uh, it's about time that um, we do these things uh, in our in our uh, uh, even in our Gamma uh, Philippines no so I think uh, and also uh, well, that's it I think that there's uh, what, can you add something uh, for 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 me anything you can add uh, Tali and uh, Paul. Did I did I left something? Ah, uh, yung team natin for the kapihan anti maganda yung team. Baka you would want to share the uh, team for kapihan. Uh, so our kapihan actually we always have the kapihan first kapihan is always free for for members or or non members no. Um, but uh, I was I was uh, telling story for my my board uh, board uh, trustees no sabi ko, it's about time. It's not about uh, leadership now. We all are leaders already. No? Yeah. Maybe it's about time to have healing. No? No? Spiritual, mental, personality development, and even uh, emotional and financial fitness. No? I mm. think uh, it's about time that uh, we talk Emotion. about this. Kasi ang dami ng, dami na natin, we talk about leaders. No? Leadership. Oh. Ano leaders. We yeah. are all leaders here. No? We are all mm. leaders. There's no doubt of uh, questioning of hindi tayo leaders. Leaders talaga tayo. No? Mm. But it's about time to have cleansing, no? Uh, ma matanggal ng mga baggage, no? So, and so that we can, if we, wala ng baggage, then we can say that we are ready to take off. The whole person. The whole yeah. person talaga. The Parang, whole yeah. person concept, sir. Yes. Oh, all right. So, and, oh, and maganda yung sinabi mo, 
Captain Magdad letting go of the baggages uh, yes. so that you can really fly high and soar. And yes, high. even the fats. Maraming maraming naipon after the holidays. <laughs> yeah, even the fats. <laughs> Mahirap lumipad eh, pag mabigat. <laughs> oh, na. Oh, oh, my, wait. <laughs> Pero it looks like, again, ano, ha, 2022 will be another exciting year for Gamma. Yes. Uh, ang ang, ang so, talagang programs nyo are really zeroing in on what your members really need no, in terms of support. Uh, maybe this question naman I throw to Tali. Uh, obviously, you have a lot of activities lined up for your membership no, and uh, that simply reflects the kind of concern you have for them. So ang question is yung what do you do as an organization to make sure naman that the members really participate and engage and buy into the programs na pinagpagura ng uh, officer corps. Okay, so 2021 sabi nga namin we have lots of learnings no as an organization and we learned to adapt na we have to technologically adapt to what's happening. So for yeah. this year, uh, hmm. we will be having a online registration for membership. So mm -hmm. this will help us uh, improve our database so we will be updated on how far or how near we are for our goal. And also this year, we have launched the Infotex or SMS so that all our members will be able to know what's happening. Like uh, when is the registration, ano yung mga updates. So talagang nag-invest kami sa infrastructure mm -hmm. for this year. Mm. And also, uh, I'll take this opportunity to plug na also, no? I uh, yeah. hope uh, all the leaders will like our page. Ang official, kasi pag nakita nyo, medyo maraming gumagamit ng Gama. Pero our official yeah. FB page is Gama Global Philippines. So please join Gama Global Philippines so, so that you can see kung ano yung mga ano namin, mga activities. And also, na-mention na rin kanina ni Auntie Magda that we have hired a social media practitioner na rin. Ah, social media na gumagawa ng mga I'm ano sure. namin, mga flyers, mga events, okay. mga anything about leadership. So, mas updated na yung FB page. So, please visit it also. And for this year, meron kaming tinatawag na gamakit na improvised. So, this is just a way of saying thank you to all our members for trusting us to be their partner in their growth as an agency leader. So yung gamakit namin, the may polo, may pin, may hmm. privilege card. So yan yung mga bago that they have to uh, look into. Ayun. Looks like so, your... Uh, go ahead, go ahead. So yan po yung mga changes okay. that we are doing for year just to ensure that all the leaders are engaged. Kasi majority, uh, before we just send an email to the coordinators and ang daming hindi nagbabasa ng emails, no? Yeah. We are aware of that. Uh, so, yun yung nakita naming way is to uh, get a social media manager and also yung uh, information, uh, yung text, text services. Yun. Yes. I, I think that's a good move, no? Ninyo, again, uh leveraging on technology and uh, where the people are now into no, in terms of communication information. Uh, inisip nga namin in an environment na talaga namang punong-puno ng pagbabago and unpredictability. Yes. Uh, we really hope that Gamma members take uh, make the most of all of the opportunities that uh, you mentioned in terms of developmental, lalo na your tie-up with foreign organizations. No? Pati dun sa mga non-members, kasi sa lalo na sa nakikinig ngayon ng mga non-members, yun namang cost of membership, if you compare that to the value that you will, you will get as a member, wala ho yun. So sana talagang, and as a leader, no, ako naman, eh, matagal na sa industry, uh, nakita ko that the leaders who succeed are the leaders who invest uh, on themselves. Eh, kasi pag nag-invest ka naman sa sarili mo, effectively, you're investing for your people's growth, eh, huh? okay? So, so that alone exactly. should give, give uh -huh. the, the non-members uh, more motivation to become Gamma members. Uh, yung 4,000, dapat ma-achieve niya yan. Uh, we will rally the 4,000 to be achieved yes. this year. Okay? Yes. Yes. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Jay? Yes, um, when we had... Uh, 
immediate past president Susan no uh, guest thing with us nung season one. One of the parang items na, na plano noon was to have a regular parang session or regular discussion with the insurance commission no between yes. Gama and the insurance commission para ma-address kagad yung mga whatever concerns no or yes. activities na pwedeng i-collaborate between the two. Uh, how has this been uh, implemented? Natuloy po ba ito, President Magda? Is there now a more regular coordination meeting between Gama and IC? Uh, actually, we we did that uh, meeting. We we have that meeting, no. So the good thing is, uh, at least have we have uh, communication and we were able to realize what's happening in in between the companies and also with the commissioners, no. But uh, uh, actually, this year we will have another meeting. Hopefully, the those uh, uh, some some questions were answered, and hopefully we we could uh, rise up with some more questions for them to answer us. Now we are really ready. Like this morning, I was talking to one of the branch head in Iloilo. There were some concerns, and I said, "You just have to give me all the concerns. We'll bring it to IC so that it can be solved immediately." That's our that's our role here. No, as a, yeah. we manage the we help the manager. Uh, whatever problem of even the companies about the ICs, no. So we really uh, play a big role in in communicating the the problem of uh, like uh, like the the, the uh, licensing and even yeah. the taking the ICs and yeah. even during the IC exam, what's happening? No, today I heard some something. I, it's really funny during the examination. What's happening in the examination? No. So there are lots of problems still have to tackle. So yes. that's why Gamma is here. And even I think Luap is uh, here to 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 also to help us, he help us hand in hand. We'll do it together yeah. to solve the problem. And let's just give us the, the your problem. We will find solution and talk to the IC. Yeah. That's our job. That's our job. Very good. That's good. No, uh, sana talagang uh, maging mas regular at mas frequent. Yes. Yung inyong mm -hmm. dialogue no, with the uh, IC because uh, a lot of uh, things, no concerns will be resolved no with constant dialogue mm -hmm. no and uh, coordination. And si Attorney Dennis Puna eh, talagang very ano eh, all out talaga sa pag yes. uh, suporta no sa ating uh, industriya. Yes. Uh, Pauline, how about naman sa different insurance companies? What uh, support do you need or do you expect para successfully niyong ma-implement lahat ng mga programa, napakagandang mga programa na ni-line up niyo for 2022? So, okay, Ms. J. Uh, for, for the insurance um, companies, no? we consider them kasi as partners. No? Partners okay. namin sila. Yeah. So what we need from them is really to promote no all the programs in gamma kasi example member ako pero hindi nga ako nagbabasa sorry to say <laughs> so hindi ko masyadong alam what's in store for me di ba yeah. so i cannot see the value i mean yeah. there are leaders na naging member sila just because their company was the one who paid for their membership yes. right yes. so kung ikaw itong leader na to no nagpo-fall sa ganitong category na leader the support of the company is to really emphasize the value of what they can get from Gamma. Yes. So that the companies will, these companies also will be able to get the return on their investments. Yes. Because the more you attend, the more you will be yes. confident as a leader. Mm -hmm. And pag confident ka, ibang iba din yung the way you recruit, the way you talk, the way you train. Mas iba ka. Ibang yes. level. Sabi nga natin, di ba? a different version of you requires a different level of learning, of understanding. Di ba? nag increase ka ng lead mo every time eh. So, yung companies, nandyan niya, nagbayad na sila, di ba? So, anong ba yung i-promote ng i-promote? After all, maingay din kami sa kaka-promote no, <laughs> ng mga programs namin. So, that's one support. And, syempre, yun nga, once these this managers get to you know experience firsthand yung value sa gama sila mismo they can influence other leaders as well to be able to become yeah. members and eventually yeah. become yeah. awardees 
Yeah. Pero naman yun eh. You don't wait to become, you know, an awardee to be able to member. Yes. Dapat ang goal mo, mag-member muna ako. Kasi pag gumaling ako, automatically, magiging awardee ako. Mm. So, yeah. kasi sayang yung bayad ng companies, di ba? Kung hindi mm. naman yeah. na ma-maximize yung mga programs ni Gama. Sobrang dami. Kapihan lang. We'd like to invite everyone pala. No? Yeah. Uh, this, Feb, this February, uh, it's open for all leaders. Hindi lang members. Members, we want members. to inspire you. Okay. No, we want to inspire you to be a member. No, pag nakita mo, parang sneak peek ito. Pag nakita mo, yeah. ah, maganda pala. Sige, tuloy ko na yung tatlong, uh, the rest of the kapihan. And of course, there will be convention. Saka, ang dami-dami talaga, even the Gamma Journal. Ang dami-daming laman. As in, ikaw na yung, ang dami kong babasahin, di ba? Pero ikaw, excited ka. May e-book, et cetera, et cetera. Sobrang dami. They just really have to promote. So, ayan, Miss J. Thank okay. you. So I, I know we have uh, a number of mga colleagues namin sa industry who are also watching us tonight. So that's the appeal of the Gamma officers, no? Mga kasamahan natin sa iba't ibang insurance companies, please help us promote, no, yung uh, Gamma, no, among your uh, agency leaders. So, uh, Pauline, again, uh, kailan yung inyong uh, free Gamma copy? I mean, not free. But tama ba? Free ba? Or free, yung free, free. Copy? Yes, okay. it's free. free. It's, Jay. it's free. Okay, so it's, it's free. free. Ako, mga agency leaders, ito na ang inyong pagkakataon. Diba? So kung medyo may konting budget concern kayo, this is the time. So let's uh, take, no, um, maximize natin itong uh, benefits na makukuha natin. That will be February 2. two. February. That will be February 2. Anong oras po? Laging 3 o'clock eh. Okay. So, yeah. It's oh, always 3 o'clock. But we will o'clock. release official poster. Okay. Uh, you know, Leaders in Action uh, is always here. No, So you can uh, reach out to us. No, uh, Because every Thursday we have our episode. So pwede namin i-plug yan. Pwede namin uh, banggitin ng banggitin. No, uh, para maka-encourage tayo ng uh, maraming membership no for Gama because the wish no ng and the aim of uh, leaders in action also is to help really no uh, develop and grow our uh, agency leaders no so in any ways by which we can help your advocacy magtutulungan tayong dalawa no kasi pareho tayo ang target natin na tulungan ay ang ating mga agency leaders. Ubus uh, ito na naman tayo sa bilis ng uh, oras, ubus na naman yung time natin. So, so pa, yan yung concern natin. Uh, so, this is already my this is already our final question uh, for uh, Gamma President Magna. Uh, yes. Magna uh, Captain Magna, uh, anong iyong final words to our leaders and managers as uh, we move forward to a new year that promises to be a positive one? Uh, I will only have this statement. This is not the year to get everything you want, but this is the year to appreciate everything you have. No? Wow. So, wow. Bulitin natin. Pakiulit, pakiulit. Ano, manager. This is not the year to get everything you want, but this is the year to appreciate everything you have. Oh, wow. So Banda. I hope uh, you would appreciate us. We have been 27 years in the Philippines, no? So wow. Gamma is really developing lead Filipino practitioner leaders, no? Our heart is always here. Uh, we are happy to serve. Para sa pamilya, ready to take off. Well said, very well said, uh, Captain Magda. No? Again, uh, very good words uh, from all of you. Uh, we want to thank you and uh, we wish all the best for Gamma and its membership in, uh, in 2022, which promises to give so many opportunities and possibilities. Maraming salamat again to the three of you. Thanks again, uh, President and Captain Magda. Uh, first, vice, first, first Vice President and Co-Pilot Pao and uh, 
co-pilot and board secretary Tali for joining us tonight and for sharing how Gama intends to continue being the growth partner of our agency leaders. Talaga namang nowadays ang pagiging leader no uh, can really be extra challenging and will require a different lens to see and spot the opportunities beyond and behind what seems to be a string of obstacles, difficulties, and uncertainties. Pero isang bagay na dapat malaman, matandaan, at ma-realize ng ating mga agency leaders, they do not have to go through this alone by themselves. The insurance industry has organizations like GAMA led and composed of men and women who are mostly generous in sharing their time, ideas, and even strategies. Parang wala na nga yatang, ano eh, Mr. IB, no, na trade secrets sa industriya, no, sa mga ahensya. Kasi talagang everybody is very much willing and very open to share no so uh, kailangan tayo na lang ang maging ready no at mas maging open para no matuto no at maka-reach out sa ating mga kasamahan so if i am an agency leader now i will be comforted no by the fact that amidst the tough environment that i may be in i know na alam ko na anytime there will always be a fellow agency leader that I can reach out to. So our dear leaders, you have heard it from your GAMA officers. They are very much um, willing to accept you with open arms. It is indeed no, uh, very nice to, to belong no, to this organization. So uh, join na kayo no, sa GAMA Philippines. So again... To the three of you, maraming maraming salamat. And again, we would like to uh, repeat our uh, invitation kung meron kayong gustong ipromote about any of the GAMA activities, events. No, uh, please uh, use no, our platform, Leaders in Action, our program, to reach out to your membership, no, members and even the non-members. So again, thank you ladies and congratulations. Job well done. Yes. Miss J, sorry lang po, may phone yeah. in. Oh, may phone may in. Phone in. <laughs> oh, sige, uh, anong so phone in? The, uh, the Gamma Kapihan is on February 17. So, nanonood ah. sila sa... Okay, babuti ko. Yes. Oh. Okay. Speakers are RD and Miriam Kiambao Roberto. RD Roberto yeah. and Miriam Kiambao Roberto. Yeah. So it's one, more, po. one more yeah, One more shout out. Thank you very much, Emily Bonifacio, our, our ano, PRO, we are great, uh, the video and also the our social media manager and also the staff. Thank you very much. Shout out to <laughs> Emily Bonifacio. Well, okay. Again, again um, this is all what you're doing is a product of all of your team efforts, no, of people That's who are, right. who are really dedicated and committed to doing what is good, no. Ang gusto ko lang i-emphasize sa mga associations katulad ng GAMA, what you're really able to highlight is that the competition is not uh, between and among the different life insurance yeah. companies, di ba? Yes. The competition yes. is really about, number one, yeah. against financial illiteracy. Yes. Against the That's low right, inflation sir. ratio, correct? Yeah. And yes, now, that's right. Against COVID, di ba? So, yes. I guess that's what you guys are able to do. So, Again, we, we cannot but uh, extend our full appreciation for what you're doing for your peers and colleagues. No? Ang sabi nga nung last speaker namin last week, uh, leaders like you face a lot of uh, challenges and changes. The least that you can do is really to band together, collaborate, and really learn from each other. Uh, hindi yung nag, nag, uh, nagpapagalingan, kundi nagtutulungan. And I suppose uh, that's also what we want to achieve in Gamma. And I, we really hope that uh, you will be able to achieve in at least doubling your membership because that means that the industry uh, will continue to grow and there will be more people who will be blessed to have life insurance protection. Amen.
Yes. So thanks again, everyone, for joining us in another productive Thursday evening. Uh, ladies, napakarami yung shout out dito sa ating comment section. President Magda, kinote ka na. So yung sinabi nyo po ay nakatype naka na rito so for the uh, information of everybody. So uh, thank you again our dear leaders no, for uh, joining us. If you want to uh, watch again the replay of this episode, you can watch it on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Mr. Ivy, now that we have heard you know, from the team that is supporting our agency leaders, who are we having for next week? Uh, Jay and uh, to our dear friends, next week, we will have as our guest the newly elected president of LUAP, uh, Ms. Karen Yulo. Karen yes. will share with us uh, the 2022 programs of LUAP that is in full support of the financial advisors, no? KS for a record year in 2022. No doubt, the projects of LUAP also help boost the efforts of agency leaders in transforming their advisors into uh, big performers. So friends, we will see you again next Thursday, January 20, 8 p.m. here, in Leaders in Action. Real leaders. Real stories. Real talks. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Uh, thank you very uh, much. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Uh, thanks, Paulie. Bye. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. God bless everyone. Thank God you. Bless. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>